hello and welcome to Wednesday's phonics lesson. Lovely to see you. Let's begin by reading some words that we were thinking about yesterday. We were learning about alternative spellings for phonemes and we were thinking about the phoneme A. Let's read these together. N A B S L A D I L A Delay O B A Obey G R A Gray and A M A Z Amazed well done. How did you get on with your sentences yesterday? Hope you worked hard showing VGE. Okay, let's read these words together. Some of them we've just done actually. Um, okay, so eight, wait, eighty, weightless, neighbour and sleigh. Could you please write 70 and 80? Pause and then come back. Well done. Could you now write O oh, and there? Their teacher was very busy filming phonics lessons. There. Pause and then come back. Well done. Here we've got the spellings of those words. Could you check them and change them? So we are going to revise something that we learnt a little while ago and that is alternative pronunciations for the grapheme A. So let's read some words which have the phoneme or the pronunciation A, which you're very used to. I've written some more complex words because you are improving in your understanding of your um, spelling rules. So here we are. Let's read them together. Stank, batch. I made a delicious batch of cookies the other day. Flats, there are lots of new flats in Kibrook Village. Track and hatched. Can you see? There is the grapheme TCH, which you were learning last week in your spellings. So I hope you're feeling comfortable with that now. And it has the phoneme CH, doesn't it? Just like the grapheme CH. The grapheme A also has the phoneme A. Let's read some words. Acorn, danger, apron. Bacon, lady, and ranger. Sometimes you have a park ranger in um, big parks and they look after the wildlife and the plants and the flowers. And another alternative pronunciation for the grapheme A is O. Oh, and we practiced that a few weeks ago. Here are some words. Squad. Remember, the Q always comes with a U. The Queen always has her umbrella in case it rains. Swan, washes. Oh, the suffix ES is at the end to, uh, for the, sorry, for the plural. Okay, how many washes do you have to do for, hmm, for, 10 pairs of socks. How socks, how dirty are your socks? Watches, oh, T-C-H. That's the grapheme we were learning last week, isn't it? And if a word ends with sh, ch, x, or s, we always add E-S to the end to show the plural. Wallet and wasp. Could you please write squad once, 
pause and then come back. Could you now write bacon? Pause and then come back. And hatched. Well done. I would like to do sentences now, so get ready. Repeat after me. Stay away from danger, said the park ranger. Stay away from danger, said the park ranger. Pause and then come back. Check it and change it. Well done. And the other sentence is, the swan watches her cygnets hatch. The swan watches her cygnets hatch. Pause and then come back. There you are, check it and change it. And your task, whoopsie, I've just ripped my paper. Um, your task for today is to write a sentence using each of these words. Okay, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.